Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website. The website is a series of eight self-improvement lessons, all of which aim to help you live a better life and help your children do the same if you're a parent. The website is based on 31 years of my being a professional family systems therapist and being on the planet for 73 years as a student and an observer. Lesson two in the website is about how to improve the effectiveness of your communication. There are seven skills that you can learn in order to do that. The seventh skill is problem solving. My experience over many, many years with well over a thousand people, clients, students, friends, family members, is that average people like you, including college educated people, don't know how to problem solve cooperatively and effectively with each other. This video is uh, an attempt to distill a set of simple, straightforward, doable steps you can decide to use in order to problem solve when you have difficulties with other people, kids, teens, adults. Let's start with what is a problem? If you accept the idea that a problem is an unmet need, needs are discomforts. We all seek to reduce discomforts all the time and to increase comforts or pleasures. Would you agree? So a problem is an unfilled need. Uh, with that idea, in order to solve your problem, meaning fill your needs and ideally your partner's needs too, there are several things you need. There are requisites. What are they? The first is you need knowledge of the skills, the set of communication skills that you'll find illustrated in another video and in lesson two in this Break the Cycle website. You need to know what these skills are, how to use them, and when to use them. The first of these skills is awareness. You need to, be know, you need to know consciously what's going on inside of me, what do I need, what do I feel, what am I doing, how do I feel about you, you need to be aware of what's going on in your partner. You need to be aware of what's going on between you and around you. So you need knowledge of six skills, starting with awareness, six or seven skills. You need an attitude, in addition to that, of mutual respect. You need to genuinely believe, not out of duty, but genuinely. You need to say, you and I are different people and we're equals. Your needs are just as valid as mine at this time, unless you're having an emergency. You need an equal, equal, mutual respect attitude. You also need, for effective problem solving, you need to have your true self leading your personality. Most people have no clue what that means. Lesson one in this website will tell you how to recognize who's really running your life. Is it your true self or a false self? So if you have, if you know these communication skills, your true self is in charge, you have a mutual respect attitude, and lastly, if you have enough undistracted time, no phones, no kids, uh, no tasks, then you can do effective problem solving. How do you do that? It starts with saying, I have a problem. Self-awareness. Then you say, okay, I want to do problem solving. It's knowledge of this as an alternative. You approach your partner and you say, would you do problem solving with me? Or something equivalent. Uh, often people won't know what you mean, so you may need to explain the following steps. If the person says yes, what you do is say, okay, let's identify what do you need right now and what do I need right now. Our needs are equal. 
you use the communication skill of digging down to identify, go below the surface needs and identify your current true needs. There's another video that shows you how to do that. Identify what you need, respectfully ask your partner, what do you need right now from me? Help them identify, dig down if necessary. So now you, you both know each other's needs. This is what I need, this is what you need. Once you do that and you have a mutual respect attitude, then the next step is brainstorm. How can we each get our needs met, not perfectly, but well enough? Let's kick around some ideas, no matter how nutty they are. Here's a quick example of brainstorming. It's a true story. A farmer outside a large Canadian city put up a billboard next to a major highway advertising his products. Local officials came by and said, no, 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 you can't do that. We don't allow you to put up private billboards. The farmer wanted to abide by the law. He also wanted to advertise. So he brainstormed and he came up with the idea of painting advertisements on his cows. That is thinking outside the box. You can learn to do that with any person. Kids can have fun with this once they get the idea that any crazy idea is okay. So, equal, equal attitude. Ask the other person if they're willing to cooperate. Identify your needs. Identify his or her needs. Brainstorm and seek ways of getting your needs and their needs met well enough equally right now. If you can do that, thank yourself and each other. Why don't people do this? It sounds simple, it sounds useful, right? Why don't people do this? Often it's because their false self is in charge and they don't know this, this, these simple steps. They simply don't know them. What they do then is things like fight, argue, plead, hint, try to manipulate, control, walk away, fume, gossip, all these are lose-lose. They damage self-esteem. They damage relationships. You don't have to do those. The people in your family and your house don't have to do those. You can all learn this <coughs> skill as part of lesson two. You need all the skills. So, um, how do you currently problem solve? Compare what I just said, identify needs, equal, equal attitude, work cooperatively as teammates to do win-win problem solving. How, do you, how does that compare with how you do it now? Do you get what you need very often? Always? What are you teaching your kids about how to solve social problems? Um, think about it. Your parents probably did not know what you just learned in this video. I encourage you to study lesson one to find out who's really running your life and lesson two, which is seven powerful, effective communication skills, including effective thinking. That's one of the skills. I encourage you to invest time in both those lessons at sfhelp.com Org. If you'd like to uh, view related videos to this one, follow the play the link to the play test, uh, playlist below. Have fun with this. Thanks for watching.